first 20 minutes are complete. Marcelo, three good! Three-pointer left corner, A-B for three. The second half is about to begin. Pulls and fires and scores again! Trevin Dell! This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Well, one of the longer teams we've seen here at BYU, missing length already. We're just two games into the season. No Matt Harms tonight for a second consecutive game. Ankle injury hasn't played yet this year. 7-3 Matt Harms. Gavin Baxter, 6-9-2-10, left the first half of tonight's game with a knee injury, and he is not with the team to start half number two. So the injury bug, which... um, has consistently bitten BYU in recent years in a big way, is already busy early in this season. And it hits BYU where the Cougs have their greatest advantage this year, and that's with height and length inside. No Matt Harms, no Gavin Baxter, as we are underway here in half number two, BYU and UNO. New Orleans, left to right as we see it and you hear it. The privateers going away from us to our right. Loner in for Baxter to start the second. Nice first half for Caleb. Freeman drives, banks, and scores. Aaron Freeman opens the second half with his first field goal of the game. Connor Harding for three to answer the other way, and he does to put BYU more clearly in front at 44-29. Scooping lay in the other way by Lamont Berzat, and that's seven for him. So two makes for the Privateers, a three-point make for BYU, another Mountain America three-pointer for BYU. The Cougs 5 for 14 from deep. Nice backdoor feed from Lohner to Averett, and he missed the scooping reverse lay-in, but Colby Lee collects the rebound back to B.A. on the wing left side. Averett, post feed to Lee, pushed out to the left corner. Lee, Averett, one minute gone here at half number two. BYU by 13, 44 to 31. Averitt got past Rosser. Nice a skip pass. pass in the right corner to Connor Harding. That three is missed. And a loose ball foul. You get Rosser here. As Lee, Lee was amongst three other guys, and he, he's the one that draws the foul. So BYU basketball, one minute, six seconds gone. Here in half number two on the end line. Loner straight away to Lee. Marcelo on the bump. Colby, or rather Caleb, beg your pardon, will fake the three now to Colby. Mid post right side. Colby Lee over the shoulder, over the left shoulder with the right hand. Colby Lee scores it. The jump hook, 46 to 31. BYU back up the game high 15. And for Colby Lee, that's six. Rosser on the wing right side, 90 seconds gone. BYU up 46 to 31. Freeman, three point land left. Straight away to Myers. Drive and draw a foul from Colby Lee. It'll put Myers at the free throw line. Jamel Myers scoreless in the game. We'll go to the line for two early in half number two. Referees keeping up that whistle blowing pace early in the second here. We saw 25 fouls in 20 minutes in the first half. 18-21 to play and Jamel Myers will be shooting two for UNO. 46-31 to 31, BYU has the advantage. Did you know that BYU's Student Alumni Association runs the largest food drive in Utah County, and they've been doing it for more than 20 years? Teaming up with Community Action Services, you can turn $1 into three meals or 15 pounds of food. Go to fooddrive.byu.edu to help families in need this holiday season. That's fooddrive.byu.edu. The first good, the second missed by Jamel Myers. Rebound to Caleb Lohner. And for Lohner, it's already nine rebounds as he's picked from behind. Didn't see Brazat coming from behind, but it's knocked out of bounds. Stays BYU basketball. Now, Lohner can handle the ball, but that's why you don't want him to handle it. He dribbles it high. Guys coming up behind you. Barcelo just needs to go take it from him. Harding into A.B. Back to Harding in the right corner. Lohner, three-point land straight away to the left wing. As bodies hit the ground, Barcelo's open for three for a moment, has Freeman on the switch, and Freeman had to deal with A.B. on the drive, picks up the foul, so on Aaron Freeman. That's his second personal, and uh, UNO's second foul of half number two. Alex Barcelo, baseline out of bounds, to the right of the BYU basket. Lob into Lohner, three-point range right, now to Averett. Averett, 30 feet away on the right. Will drive Brazat, kick in the corner to Harding. Harding drives the base. Defended well by Rosser. Gets to the middle on him. Nice. Oh, a nice little step through there. I want more. I want more of that. Taking the Jake Toulson roll. 
Lohner blocks the shot of Myers as Harding makes beneath the basket last time down. It was a really good foul. Lohner was late. Make him earn it at the line. But, man, I love that move by Connor. Close drop about, step. Yep, BYU yep. had a whole set where they you know, posted up Jake Toulson last year. Man, if that's any indication, uh, Connor can do it just as well. That was a beautiful move. We'll call that a Zions Bank shot of the game from Connor Harding for a financial slam dunk. Zions Bank is for you. Shot of the game, Connor Harding. And Connor's got 10 to lead all scorers for BYU, actually. The UBU boys checking in Lowell and Harward. First free throw made, second missed by Myers. He's three of four at the free throw line. BYU's lead is 15, 48 to 33. The game high lead had gotten to 16 a moment ago. Connor Harding from the left block Close in the middle. Again. Oh, nice over the left shoulder of the right hand. Missed the jump hook softly off the iron. Rebounded by UNO. It was a great move. Just almost scared he was so open. Troy Green spins to the rim. Missed, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws. So the foul pace, as Mark notes, stays unabated as it's three team fouls for BYU to two for UNO early in half number two. Troy Green will go to the free throw line to shoot two. It says most of these fouls for UNO are, for, are shooting, and so they're getting to the free throw line much more than BYU. Wyatt Lowell whistled for the foul. And that's Green making the first. He's got six points on the night. BYU's lead down to 14, 48 to 34. Cougars shooting near 50% from the field. UNO's under 30%. Second missed. Loose ball foul. UNO in the fight for the rebound. So Green's 2 of 4 at the stripe. Oh, they called BYU on the loose ball foul. It looked like they called it on UNO initially, but it maybe just pointed in the wrong direction. So this should be out of bounds. They've got Green still at the free throw line, but there shouldn't be free. Th- yeah, it's got to be out of bounds. Finally and it got, will be. Finally got a miss, and then they get their <laughs> rebound. So Rosser will send in on the foul to BYU. That's four here early in half number two. Lamont Berzat has his pass intended for Myers, knocked out of bounds by Wyatt Lowell. That last foul was on Harvard, by the way. That's his third. So no harms and no Baxter, and now Harward is in dealing with some foul trouble here. 17-17 to play here at the Marriott Center. BYU's leads 14. By no means out of the woods. As the backdoor lob ends up in a layup short. BYU has numbers. A catch up, a catch and shoot layup as Connor, Connor Harding bobbled the pass and then beneath the basket by himself. As he was late behind the play, it was Damian Rosser for the two-hand tomahawk. The numbers they had was the guy that just dunked it. As he went falling to the ground, and it was five on four. It's a 12-point game, 48-36. to 36. Marcelo runs Brazat into a Lowell screen near the timeline, and Jimmy Casas calls UNO for a foul. And that'll be against Freeman. So, man alive, we've seen so many fouls in this game. That's now 32 fouls. And we're not even to the first media timeout of the second half. Not doing any favors to BYU there. As on the, it was on the dish, and Connor knocks down the three. 48-36. BYU's leads a dozen. Freeman checking out on his third foul. Team fouls are four for BYU, three for UNO. Harward from 15 feet will scoop it to Barcelo. Barcelo scoreless in the second half. Nine before halftime. Harding left wing. Connor Harding leads BYU with 10. To the right side to AB. AB three-point range right. Down to a five-second shot clock. Lowell for three. Strong. Rebound green and, oh no, Harward is hurt. And he gets up hobbled, but he's going to run back down the floor. Barcelo draws the charge. And Barcelo is slow to get up. Man, this has been a brutal game. So many guys hit and to the ground and players getting injured and leaving the floor. And wow, it's... A war of attrition right now, 48-36. to 36. BYU leads it by 12, 16-16 to go here in Provo. Really a meat grinder of a game, and interesting that Coach Pope kind of made, made reference that it would be, and that yet UNO hasn't played a game this year, so maybe look, looking back at last year's film. Team foul situation, I believe, is evened up now at four. Harward got nice position low, missed the layup, gets his own rebound, he's hit. He goes to the ground, gets up, and he'll get... Free throws you know, out of it. I don't know that he will. I think he, he was on the rebound. Okay, yep, you're right, Mark. Probably so it was, best. Uh, 
It was a foul in Rich's attempt to grab the rebound. He'll get BYU possession on the baseline. Guess what Harvard was working on at the shoot-around before the second half, Greg? I'm guessing he was at the free-throw line. <laughs> he was spent the whole time shooting free-throw. So Myers picks up his third foul. The privateers have their fifth of the second half. Nine fouls before the first media timeout of the second half. Barcelo to Harding, 25 feet away on the left. Lowell on the bump. Almost picked, knocked out of his hands, got it back. Averett down to a five-second shot clock. Averett step back, three, top of the key, no. Offensive rebound, Harward back up with it, and no, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws after this. 15.40 to go, (laughs) BYU leads at 48-36. More free throws for Big Rich after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the America First Credit Union courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Tonight's BYU basketball game is brought to you in part by Fillmore Spencer, Utah Valley's largest top-rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Well, tonight's game, not unexpectedly, not quite the uh, runaway that last night's was. BYU coming back up to Division I after last night's 49-point win over Westminster. It's a 12-point lead over New Orleans, BYU 48 and the Privateers 36 with 15.40 to play. Just to grind this game, just uh, stoppage after stoppage on foul after foul as Richard Harward will shoot two. And Big Rich tonight is three of eight at the free throw line. It's five points, seven rebounds for Harward. And there's a make. That's a swish. You said he did all that work at halftime on the, uh, the free throws. Just needed a little practice. If zero in. He's fine. We'll use some wholesale substitutions. Johnson, Gideon, George for the first time. Trevin Dell in. It's easy, big fella. So two for two for the first time tonight for Richard Harward. He's five for ten at the line and seven points. BYU's lead 14, 50 to 36. Moments ago, I just saw Rob Ramos, BYU's basketball trainer, talking with Mark Pope, no doubt about the status of Gavin Baxter. We may have to wait for postgame to get word on what Gavin's situation is. A drive and a step back fall away from St. Hilaire is missed and rebounded by Trevin Nell. Nell, cross court Averett, front court left side. BYU's up 14. Gideon George, right wing Nell. Nell, look back door, stayed to George. Top of the cart key to Harward. The handoff to the cutter Johnson. Spencer Johnson behind the net, drop off to Harward. Knocked out of his hands on his way up. He tried to shoot on the second attempt, but they're going to call the foul. On the way, it'll be Harvard with two more free throws. So team foul number seven already. So with 15 minutes to play in the game, the Cougars are already shooting one and one. And this is a two-shot foul on the attempt by Richard Harvard. Brand these front ends. These are the tough ones. It should be two, though, right? That was a shooting foul. So right, he, missed right. the, he missed the first. I really like Spencer Johnson. He's just like... Peter Parker, just my mild, mild manner, doesn't look like too much, but and he just drops an amazing dime to Harvard off the dribble penetration. BYU 5 for 15 at the free throw line tonight. 5 for 16, 0 for 2 for Richard after he made two in a row. BYU's up 14, 50 to 36. 11 free throw misses on 17 on 16 attempts for BYU this evening. Hmm. Top of the key. Marshall, left wing Troy Green, now to the bump, drives Nell, takes contact, Trevin and blocked the shot out of bounds. It'll stay New Orleans basketball with a seven-second shot clock. 14.36 to play here in Provo. Colby Lee is in for Richard Harward. Harward checking out on seven points and seven rebounds. Yeah, I don't want to read too much into the missed free throws, but what you don't want to happen is for him not to be able to play in really close games at the end because he because he can't make free throws. So you need, he, he needs to fix it. You need his skill set as the three-pointer is made left wing by Lamont Berzot, and that's 10 for Berzot. And UNO is just right there with BYU, yeah. down 11 right now, 14-23 to play. They've been hanging around, hanging around, never really to single digits, but they're close to there now. Colby Lee straight away. Dribble handoff to Spencer Johnson. Spencer drive, gives it to Colby. Dish. Colby right to the rim. Spencer Johnson the assist. And Colby Lee the finish right at the rim. BYU by 13 on Colby Lee's point seven and eight tonight. Go, 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 
UNO basketball front court left side. Damian Rosser drives on George, and Gideon's called for the bump. And that's going to be team foul number five on BYU. Non-shooting with 13.51 to play. And the Cougs up 13. Gideon George's first of the game, the native of Nigeria. Six points and two rebounds in 13 minutes last night versus Westminster. Baseline out of bounds for the Privateers to the left of their basket. We'll see Harvard check back in right now. In for Lee, who just checked in for him. I don't know, maybe what he wanted to talk to Richard. Off the inbound green. The floater is no good. The rebound to Gideon George. Outlet to Brandon Averitt. Left wing Nell. Nell spied Harward down low, but stays up top to Averitt. Averitt to George on the wing right side. He windmills on the smaller Brazat. Gideon will drive. Cuff, keep the foot down. Did he travel with it in the paint? They say travel? Yeah, it looked like he did. I don't know if he picked up that pivot foot or not, but he kind of stumbled, and so they blew it. So turnover number 10 for BYU to 8 for New Orleans. BYU with six turnovers last night and 10 with 13 and a half to play on this night. Lamont Bruzat squares up on Averitt. George has him on the switch as the ball goes low and a jump hook is missed by Rodney Carson. Almost lost, but recovered from John- by Johnson. Averitt will drive, and then Carson picked him from behind. Turnover number 11 for BYU. Sloppy. Verzat driving and drifting Go on the team. pass, picked off by Trevin Nell. Nell on the interception to Averitt. Down floor left side. Averitt, Nell straight away. Trevin will drive it to B.A. Averitt picked again from behind. Another turnover. Two on one for UNO. Rosser hands off to Carson. Carson draws contact from George. It'll be two free throws as Rosser is hurt. He's got a knee. Wow. Yeah, he's holding his knee as he rolls around on the ground. The foul to BYU is the sixth of the second half to seven for New Orleans. 13 fouls in the second half in under eight minutes of action as Rosser is down in pain on the baseline. That foul's on Gideon George, so two Rather quick fouls on Gideon as he plays here in the second half. And the Privateers are going to shoot two free throws with the team down 13, 52 to 39. Rosser is up and hobbling to the bench area. Looks to be in better shape than Gavin Baxter was certainly when Gavin left the floor. And Gavin has not returned. So we're going to just presume that Gavin's out for the night. And you just cross fingers that it's not many, many nights for BYU. So 12.42 to go and Cougs up 13, Mark. Maybe we'll take a seat. Here's, here's what I don't like, Greg. He, he turned it over twice, which is fine. That happens. The second turnover, though, he, he didn't get back on defense. He was upset. He just jogged back. You get back, if, especially if you're the one who turned it over. And I'm sure they'll, they'll talk about that because that, that doesn't fly. Rodney Carson missing a free throw. It was his first free throw attempt of the night. Missed their last two after going 17 of 21. Carson looking at a second of two. BYU's up 13. BYU stays up 13. Free throw miss. Gideon George had the rebound. Comes away with it. Gives to Barcelo. Cooper's need a spark here right now. They're up 13. But uh, the offensive rhythm lacking somewhat. Behind the back drop off from Johnson to George on the right wing. Nell to the right corner. Now Colby Lee straight away. Now to a 12-second shot clock. A.B. will curl to the bump. Take it to the paint. Corner kick to Nell for three, and he got it. Trevin Nell knocks it down. Six points for Trevin, two threes. Another Mountain America three-pointer for BYU. Carson missing on the banker, and the rebound tapped out of bounds by UNO. It's BYU basketball. So the Cougs up 55-39 to on the three-pointer by Trevin Nell. And great feed from Alex Barcelo, who uh, now has three assists, but he got into the paint, forced that defender that was covering this responsible for Nell in the corner, had to come in and help on that. Kick it out, open three. We'll call that kick a UCCU smart decision. Here's a smart decision. UCCU's 4321 cashback credit card giving you up to 4% cash back on the spending you do the most. UCCU, love where you bank. Colby Lee with a jump hook at the front of the rim, and BYU just like that is up 18, 57 to 39. That's become a great weapon for him. It's hard to block with that big body. Aaron Freeman drives, loses the ball in his penetration. BYU the other way. Nell lobs it up to Gideon George, and the running lane is good. The jumping lane by Gideon George. 
11.35 to go. George gives BYU a 20-point yeah, lead. Like that. Game high, 20-point cushion. Gideon's first two points of the night. He assists to Trevin Nell. 11.25 to play. Brzat, three-pointer answer on the angle left. He's Long two. great tonight. Long two. Lamont Brzat. That's a dozen for Brzat. And timeout on the floor, 11.20 to go. BYU 59 and New Orleans 41. We're taking a break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with the scoreboard update. How about we mix things up and give you a college football score? Looks like the Utah State Aggies are going to pick up their first win of the season. Under four minutes to go, the Aggies leading the Lobos in Logan 41 227. Back over to the Marriott Center alongside Mark Durant. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Thank you, Jason. BYU's up 59 to 41 over New Orleans with 11.20 to play. And BYU basketball is brought to you in part by JCW's. Dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody from burgers to wings, shakes to salads. JCW's quality and a lot of it in Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, and now open in Harriman for BYU. It's offensive rebounds and a lot of them. 14 to 5 on the offensive glass, BYU tonight. Guess what I had last night after the game? I'm guessing some JCWs? Yeah, what did I get though? Uh, steak sandwich. Yeah, baby. Yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Cheese fries, steak sandwich. Mm. They op- they're probably not open on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean, I went after that steak sandwich like Harvard going after a rebound, offensive <laughs> rebound, man. That was good stuff. Yeah, BYU. Even with the loss of a couple big guys to injury, they still got big guys, and they can rebound. We're back in BYU basketball. And back to front, right to left. Caleb Lohner on the bump. Oh, Connor Harding flashed to the paint. That pass wasn't quite there from Caleb's perspective. He gives to Colby Lee, top of the key, the give there to Trevin Nell. Nell. Backs in at the right elbow to the left wing to Barcelo. Barcelo sees an opening and drives to the rim and scores it. A.B. with his first two of the second half. Man, that was like 3-2-1 blast off. He just blew right to the rim. Just lightning quick. B button to the hoop. And he's up and in for 11 on the night. 10.45 to go. BYU's up 20 again. 61-41. to 41. Nice. The nice is St. Hilaire down low to Carson for the lay-in. Carson's got his first points of the night, 61-43. to The high-low and the lay-in makes it an 18-point game. And offensive foul on BYU on the Trevin Nell drive. This has been Loner setting a screen. So we'll take a break once again, 10-27 to play. The BYU leads 18, 61-43 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 11-4 BYU run over the last three and a half minutes. Taking this one to an 18-point game. It had been a 20-point lead for BYU. It's 61-43. The Cougars lead the privateers of New Orleans here at the Marriott Center. BYU playing two games in two nights to open the year. They'll take a day off tomorrow. And then get ready for Utah Valley coming in here on Saturday night. Three games in four days to open the campaign. As we come back into Privateers after basketball, Rodney Carson Jr. on the wing left side. Straight away to Damian Rosser. Rosser. Zone for BYU. St. Hilaire top of the key. Drives past Barcelo. Underhand scoop to Rosser. Driving lay and score. Nicely done by Damian Rosser. That's 15 for Rosser. BYU front court leading by 16 and knocked out of bounds, out of bounds off of Kamani Doty, who knocked it out of the grasp of Connor Harding. So BYU's lead 16, four in a row for the Privateers. 9.59 to play here at the Marriott Center. 7 o'clock tip Saturday night for BYU and UVU, Mark Pope's former team. These two teams didn't play last year. Crosstown clash Saturday night. Trevin, or Wyatt Lowell. Tries to go high-low to Colby Lee, but Colby's called for clearing space down low. And so on Lee, that's number four. So Lee in some foul trouble with BYU down big bodies tonight. No Matt Harms and Gavin Baxter leaving this game injured. And that's the real downbeat note from tonight. If BYU goes on to win, it's, well, how long will they be without Baxter? He hurt his knee on a collision beneath the basket late in half number one and has not returned to the floor. An injury plagued season last year, or shoulder rehab, really, more than an injury, but the surgery causing him to miss most of last year as St. Hilaire runs over Alex Barcelo, who's called for the foul. 
So here. Marcelo's second. Clearly Alex not set, but St. Hilaire was really the aggressor. And so I guess uh, one on one. Good. Probably a good call looking at it. One on one. So the privateers are going to shoot two the rest of the way. That's team foul nine for BYU to seven for New Orleans. So we saw 25 fouls in the first half, 16 here in the second half, 41 combined fouls with still plenty of time to go. 9.35 remaining as Derek St. Hilaire will shoot two free throws. A, half, a handful of these have been on BYU's offensive end, so you take away a possession, basically a turnover. Free throw missed and rebounded by Richard Harward. On the wing left to Lowell, and Wyatt Lowell misses the three strong, but Rich has the rebound and the stick-back score. Richard Harward on the putback. Just his second field goal tonight. Nine points for Harward. I I mean, he's becoming my favorite. I just love how hard he plays. He gets after it. 63-45. The Cougar lead is 18. Angle left to Carson. Straight away St. Hilaire. Derek St. Hilaire. Left wing Carson. Doty and now Rosser on the bump into a tough 20 footer just inside the arc no but the loose ball foul causes the whistle and uh, that will be Nell was it Nell Trevin Nell picks it up so that's team foul 10 and that's two free throws for New Orleans here so we have seen in this game 41 free throws on 42 fouls and now we're going to see two more free throws as Ladarius Marshall looks to score for the first time tonight and rattles it home so Marshall has his first point keeping them within shouting distance they've scored outscored BYU by 13 from the free throw line still down by 18 they've taken 11 more free throw attempts than BYU tonight on free throw attempt. <laughs> well, come on. Uh, Ladarius I mean, Marshall did the old uh, the old pump fake on the second free throw. They got to talk gonna say, about They're going to say he drew his own guy in the lane. I think this might be a lane violation ending the possession here. What will they say? Yeah, I mean, he brings it high like he's shooting, and then it's like a pump fake from the free throw line. Now that we're BYU's <laughs> aware of it, they're not going to fall for it, but come on. So he gets the another look at the. He does it again. It's kind of brilliant, <laughs> and it's missed. Ball don't lie moment. So rebound to Wyatt Lowell. BYU's up 18, 63 to 45. Marshall one for two on the trip. Howard lets traffic clear up top. Left wing to Barcelo. Corner three. Good for A B. It's A B for three. 14 points for Barcelo. He was open for like 10 seconds. You almost hear him yelling and screaming for Howard to find him, and finally he does. It's another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU. $50 more to the American Red Cross, courtesy of Mountain America. BYU by 21 for the first time tonight, and A.B. on the backhand steal. Barcelo behind the back, all the way to the rim, reverse lay, and good by Alex Barcelo. Taking over here in the second half. 16 for A.B., and the Cougar lead goes to 23. Nice. Five straight, just like that for A.B., beautiful. With 16 points, Marcelo leading the way. The three by Doty, top of the key, hit the back of the iron and then settled, dropped dead into the rim. Doty for three on the shot that hit the flange. The drift pass by Harding, and the block is called on UNO. That'll be team foul number eight, and BYU will shoot one and one after this. 7.51 to go. BYU leads it by 20 once again, 68-48. to We're taking a break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Diamonds Direct, lowest prices in three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. That's Sierra West Jewelers. We price match. No match in tonight's score. BYU by 20 right now, 68 to 48 on the scoreboard. So I guess they're calling that previous... Three by Doty at long two. That's been the decision. So it's gone to a long two for Doty, keeping it 68 to 48, not 68 49, which it would have been had they called it a three. They did not. As we come back in, it'll be free throws, one and one for BYU. Connor Harding at the line. The privateers were in the double bonus. BYU still one and one territory on team foul number eight by UNO. Cougs have fouled 10 times here in the second half. Connor shoots one and one. 10-point night for Harding. 
Alex his career high at BYU's 14. That's a make by Connor. Alex Barcelo started this game 0 for 4. Has made his last seven in a row <laughs> with 16 points. Two for three from three. Six rebounds, four assists. BYU's rebounding edge, by the way, 21 right now. 43 to 22. Last year's BYU team was 10 and 1 when out rebounding the opposition. And they're on their way to a win and a big board edge in this one. BYU by 22 now at 70 to 48 as Connor Harding goes two for two. Coops like those two for two tries at the free throw line. Ladarius Marshall yanking the ball away from Harding and Lowell and draws the foul. That'll be Connor picking it up. So Harding picks up the foul and it'll be two free throws for UNO. So we have seen in this game 45 free throws on 44 fouls, and it'll now go to 46 and 47 free throw attempts. We should have bought stock in free throws before this game, man. What a missed opportunity. (laughs) 7.35 to go. A somewhat glacial (laughs) pace, and there's the uh, pump fake again from Ladarius Marshall. He rolls it in. It was a little less. (laughs) He didn't actually raise it above his head this time, but he still got that motion. Free throw make by Marshall. He's got two points on the night. And he goes one for two on the trip. So uh, a pair of one for two trips for Marshall. BYU's up 21, 70 to 49. BYU's made eight of its last nine from the field, Mark. Another board for Alex. He's going for a double-double. It's steal. Marshall picked it away from Richard Harward. Gets it on a give-and-go back. Does Marshall after he gave it to Larry Robinson and then runs into Harward. It's offensive. Good and job to recover from Harward. And so he drew the foul, being the only man back on the two-on-one. That's what I'm talking about. You make a mistake, but you hustle back and try and make a play defensively. So the foul on Marshall is third, ninth against New Orleans. It'll be two free throws the rest of the way for both teams. 70-49, to 49, BYU leading at 7.06 to play here at the Marriott Center. Mid post left for Harward. Jump hook over the left shoulder with the right hand. A travel is called. Waves off the basket. It's a good move. He tried to create some space by putting his shoulder down into the defender, which worked, but they say he shuffled his feet. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 30 years. BYU 70, New Orleans 49. The privateers will almost certainly see their three-game win streak and season openers come to a close. This the longest trip for a season opener in the continental U.S. for New Orleans. They did play a season opener in Hawaii one time back in the day. The floater missed by Troy Green. The rebound to BYU. Spencer Johnson down floor left side to Connor Harding. And around the side whip on the hook pass to Lohner. Now Harding up top. Kick in the corner. Skip pass to Johnson. Spencer step back triple. In and out. And then Loner loose ball foul. Free throws, two of them at the other end for New Orleans. 46 fouls in this game. 23 for both teams. And we are going to see free throws 48 and 49 right now. New Orleans will have taken 31 free throws after this trip to the stripe is over. They're 19 for 29, BYU 7 for 18, so a 39% free throw night for BYU as Lohner checks out, Gideon George checks in. This game with a glacial pace. This referee's handing out fouls like they're Mardi Gras beads, just tossing them to New Orleans player. <laughs> 70 to 49, BYU's lead 21 with 6.34 to go, and Troy Green shoots and makes from the free throw line. Speaking of opening in Hawaii, a year ago today, Greg, we were in Maui, just to throw that out there. <laughs> Thanksgiving week tournament, the Maui Invitational, not being held in Maui this year. Last year we were there, and BYU played really well, won two games, really kind of a springboard for the season in a way for BYU last year as Troy Green goes two for two at the stripe on that trip, 70-51, to 51, the BYU lead 19. Spencer Johnson to the bump, left wing Averett, Brandon Averett. With five points, hasn't scored here in the second half. A drive and kick and a turnover as Harding was a little deeper down the uh, sideline than B.A. thought he would be. So it's a giveaway with 6.17 to play and New Orleans down 19. Make it 18. See, they did change that 2 to a 3 from Doty earlier. I thought it had to be a 3. And they've changed the score now to 70 to 52. Backtracking and I think changing that earlier 2 to a 3. So we'll go with that. Myers, a drive and kick. 
tapped out of bounds by Spencer Johnson. It'll stay privateer basketball. 6.04 to go in the game. Could have played two of the Westminster games in the time it's taken us to play this, <laughs> this game. That went lightning quick. Large lead for BYU tonight was 22. It's 18 now. It's 70 to 52. Next up for New Orleans will be Texas A&M. Brazat, long three left side, strokes it. He's been killer. I watched him in the warm-ups. T- ugliest shot, didn't make a three. He cannot miss. 15 for Brazat with the lights on at game time. 70 to 55. The Cougar lead, which was 22, is down to 15. Work to be done. Here at the Marriott Center, Spencer Johnson left nice. wing. Ah, the nice screen to roll low, and he slipped, took the pass, and scored it. Colby Lee lays it up and in, 72-55. to 55. Spencer, And for Colby, that's 12. Spencer's a playmaker. He finds guys. Myers bobbles a pass out of bounds. Jamel Myers, that is. It'll be a turnover for UNO. BYU basketball with 5.21 to play. Cougs up 72-55. Colby Lee with a dozen. One of three Cougs in double figures. Harding with 12. Barcelo 16. B.A. Three-point land right. Left wing Gideon George. To Spencer Johnson. Drives past his man. And that guy fouls him. That's Larry Robinson the third. So Spencer will shoot two free throws. Both teams shoot two the rest of the way. Spencer Johnson. 0 for 2 tonight from the field. 0 for 1 from 3. Hasn't taken a free throw until now. But he will shoot two. Last night he... Made both of his free throw tries. The Salt Lake Community College transfer, Spencer Johnson, part of a slick team that went 29-4 and last year, was a redshirt at Weber State before going to Salt Lake Community College. Bends the knees, places the ball at forehead height, elevates it and shoots and scores from the free throw line. Spencer Johnson with his first point of the night. And BYU's up 73-55, to 5 to go. So after two games in 24 hours, BYU will have a day between games. Spencer's brother Isaac is 6'10", and a commit at the University of Oregon. Spencer one for two, second one rattles out. BYU as a team, eight for 20 at the free throw line. Damian Rosser, arc right. Top of the arc, Freeman, and turns it over for Brazat on the far sideline. Unforced error there on the pass whipped out of bounds. It'll be 73-55 on the scoreboard. Our stat monitor shows 73-54 still, but I think they'll be changing that Doty 2 to a 3 from moments ago. So we'll call 73-55 as the score. Kobe Lee doubled in the left post out to Spencer Johnson on the right wing for a three. No good. Lee tapped it to Harding to B.A. for three. And Averitt scores in the right corner. Brandon Averitt with his first points of the second half, his second three of the night. Another Mountain America three-pointer. BYU's up 21, 76-55, eight for B.A. 16 offensive rebounds for BYU. 24 second-chance points. Freeman just inside the three-point line. Sends it low to Damian Rosser on the fall away. The pass with the ball was knocked out of his hands. He got it back on Harding. Drives into Connor. The running hook is no good off the back iron. Rebounded by Colby Lee. And the Cougs a 21-point lead into front court. Averett will drive it low and be called for the charge. So Averett picks it up. Double bonus, but it's a player control foul. No free throws the other way, but a turnover for BYU. It's turnover number 16 after just six of them last night. Brzat looked like he twisted his ankle. He'll come out. Who is that, Mark? Brzat. Brzat, uh, okay. Knee or ankle issue. Lamont Brzat, 15 points, co-leading scorer with Damian Rosser. Brzat has made all of his threes, three of three from deep. Under four to go. The under four-minute media break is forthcoming. Mid-alley right from Rosser, and the three is good. Rosser with the assist to Derek St. Hilaire. Hilaire's first field goal. He's got five points. Every time I say Derek St. Hilaire, I want to say David St. Hubbins. Colby Lee, left block. Two bounces. Three bounces. Picks it up. They rake at the arm. The jump hook is off the front iron. No good. The carom collected by Aaron Freeman. Freeman to St. Hilaire. St. Hilaire, a bounce pass. Low to Myers. Myers right to the rim of the right hand. Up and down. Jamel Myers with his first field goal. He's got four on the night. And the lead back to 16, 76 to 60. 
Making a last hurrah here. Averitt for three right corner. Again, another three in the right corner, right in front of the BYU team bench. That's 11 for Brandon Averitt. Three threes on the night. Another Mountain America three-pointer for BYU. The Cougs up to nine threes after 18 of them last night. Long jumper straight away, missed by Myers, collected by Averett, down floor to Connor Harding. Full head of steam to the rim, but he passes to the corner. Spencer Johnson back rims the three. Rebound UNO to St. Hilaire. Derek St. Hilaire to the painted area. Draws contact as he goes up. It's clean on the block by Harding. George back to Connor. Front court right side to Gideon. Gideon will stutter step into the paint, throw it up and miss the lay-in. The rebound collected by Freeman. Troy Green with two and a half to go. And back and forth we go. 79 to 60. Connor Harding tries to draw the charge as bodies hit the deck. And he, he did draw it. the charge. So the foul to Myers and a timeout on the floor. 2.20 to play in a rough and tumble affair. It is BYU 79 and New Orleans 60 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard for the scoreboard update. To go in the second half, number three Villanova leading number eighteen Arizona State forty nine to forty three. Let's get back over to the Marriott Center and wrap up this one. The voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Jason, thank you. If you're looking for an even more convenient way to shop at Smith's, try Smith's Click List. Order online, then pick up curbside by the store. Visit SmithsFoodAndDrug.com for details. Two twenty to play here at the Marriott Center. BYU on the way to two and zero for the first time in three years. Seventy nine to sixty. Cougars lead the privateers of UNO. Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Radio on KBYU FM HD2 Provo. You are listening to BYU Basketball on BYU Radio. A 21-second shot clock for BYU as the ball is knocked out of bounds by the visitors. Cougar ball on the baseline. Alex Barcelo to do the honors. AB leading BYU with 16 points. Lee 12, Harding 12, Averett 11, the others in double figures. Gideon George, three-point range right to Harward inside the top of the key. Marcelo, left wing. George for three on the left wing, front rims it, gets his own rebound. Gideon on the reset and gave it up. Nate taken out of his hands. Carson will come the other way. That is turnover number 18 for BYU tonight. Jay Rogers, the freshman having checked in out of Columbus, Ohio. Rogers, jersey number zero. Carson Marshall. Lift fake on Richard Howard runs into Gideon George. Gideon called for the block. It's two more free throws for New Orleans. 50th foul of the game. 25 for BYU, 25 for New Orleans. So 50 fouls and now 53 free throw attempts with 140 to go. Ladarius Marshall shooting two. Free sandwich and you get 50 fouls, Greg. I do know this. One more point. You have a chance to win a free sandwich on the next point. If it were a foul thing, we'd, we'd be laughing. But, uh, yes, on the 80th point for BYU, we have a Jersey Mike's offer to tell you about. Stick around for that as BYU is one point away from 80. He got his own guy this time. Lap, he faked his own dude out. <laughs> the lane violation for. Come on. You see it every day in practice. Come on. <laughs> Bowl Tong fell for the ball fake from Ladarius Marshall at the free throw line. It's a lane violation, so one free throw on the trip is all. 79-61. to 61. Jersey Three-pointer by Alex Barcelo in the left corner. That's 19 for A.B. And with that make, BYU just hit 80 points, goes to 82. Text the word SUB above to 888-111 for your chance to win a free regular sub from Jersey Mike's. The words SUB above to 888-111. Chance to win a free sub from Jersey Mike's. Free th- uh, long three missed from UNO. BYU the other way. Averett no look to Gideon. Gideon right to the rim, but he missed it. Offensive rebound, stick back, and score for Richard Harward. It's your fifth guy in double figures yep. with that bucket. That's 11 for Big Rich, and he gets another free throw attempt. And Richard's taken 12 and now 13. And it's a double-double for Harward. 11 points, 10 rebounds. His BYU career highs. He had three double-doubles as a UVU sophomore two seasons ago. Richard Howard at the line for his 13th free throw attempt. 84-61. BYU leads by 23 for the first time tonight. Alex Barcelo's night is likely done. 101 to play. He checks out. Hunter Erickson is in. Cameron Pearson in as well. As the Cougs lead at 84-61. 61 seconds to go. 
A pretty impressive start to this season for Alex Barcelo. Man, we knew he'd be good. He was good last year, but this is, these are pretty elite numbers he's putting up the first two games. So Richard Harward at the line to complete a three-point play. And in and out. Tough so uh, from the line for the big fella. Yeah, man, five, five for 13 at the free throw line. He might have had a monster night otherwise. Jay Rogers, top of the key. Under a minute to go. The drive and handoff to Marshall. Offensive foul on Jay Rogers. So turnover number 16 for UNO. BYU with the ball. 49.7 to go. 84 to 61. The Coug lead 23. BYU goes to 2 and 0. Utah Valley next up Saturday night, 7 o'clock tip, 6 p.m. pregame on the radio here at the Marriott Center. Nell, center circle, George. Right wing to Cam, up top to Wyatt Lowell. Lowell hands off to Hunter Erickson. The Tim View product to Nell, left corner. He'll drive the rim. Reverse layup is good. Oh! The spin off the window, and Nell took a hit to the head. Gets up a little oh. bit slowly, but what a make. 86-61, to 61, the game-high lead 25 for BYU. Tremendous quickness to get to the rim, but then he spun it high off the window on the reverse, and it goes. Carson dribbles it off his foot, tracks it down near the timeline. 12 seconds to go. Carson, spin into Erickson. Erickson contests the shot. It's missed. Hunter has the rebound, and BYU's going to bounce it out. So 4-3-2-1, and we are done, and BYU wins it by 25. 86-61. The Cougars over the Privateers here in Provo. BYU is a winner, and the postgame recap is coming your way next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the America First Credit Union courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Grubel. All right, so BYU is a winner over New Orleans by a score of 86-61. to 61. The Cougs on the night shoot 52% from the field, 37% from the arc, 38%. A, uh, a, uh, a, a, a suboptimal number from the free throw line. New Orleans shoots 33% field, 71% arc. They made 71% of their threes, but took just seven to BYU's 27. 27 three tries for BYU to seven for the visitors. New Orleans did shoot 69% from the free throw line, 22 of 32. New Orleans made more free throws than BYU attempted tonight. BYU eight for 21, and New Orleans 22 of 32. Offensive rebounds, BYU 16 to 8. Total rebounds, BYU 54 to 28. Second chance points, BYU 26 to 5. Bench points, BYU 30 to 15. Paints in the paw, point, <laughs> paint points or points in the paint, 46 to 16 in BYU's favor and 11 to 4 on the fast breaks as well. The large lead for BYU is the final margin of 25 at 86 to 61. Barcelo with 19. On 8 for 12, 3 of 4 from deep. 12 for Lee on 6 of 8. 12 for Harding on 4 for 9. 11 for Harward on 3 of 6. 5 free throws on 13 attempts. Double-double for Big Rich at 11 and 10 tonight. And then Averitt in double figures, 11 points. And 4 of 6 from the field, 3 of 4 from deep for Brandon. 8 points for Trevin Nell. 6 for Caleb Lohner. Then you're going to go down to 2 for Lowell, 2 for George, 2 for Baxter, and 1 for Johnson, getting you to 86 on the night for BYU. I mentioned Baxter's name there, and, of course, uh, that's you know the, the one uh, downcast note from tonight, Mark, is the fact that Gavin Baxter didn't finish the game, didn't finish the first half, and now you just cross fingers and hope for the best on the big man. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. I mean, uh, yeah, after going through what he's gone through to get back, and, and he looked so good last night, so comfortable, confident joking around with me i mean i just love this kid and uh, let's just hope for the best we'll not make any prognostications but it's it's tough even if they lose him for a game because he, he's i think he got so much potential and has been looking so good and i and i just like him and and i just let's just keep keep positive and hope everything works out for for him because he deserves all good things New Orleans, all good things, all good things. New Orleans, uh, 15 points for Rosser and 15 points for Brazat, the only two in double figures. Uh, eight points for Green, five points for St. Hilaire, four each for Myers and Freeman, three each for Doty and Marshall, two each for Tong and Carson getting it to 61. BYU wins it by a score of 86 to 61. BYU won the first half, 41 to 27. BYU wins the second half, 45 to 34. BYU ends the game on a 7 nothing run. 
And the Cougars are 2-0 for the first time since the 2017-18 season. Cougs look to go 3-0 with Utah Valley here on Saturday night. All right, coming up from courtside, it'll be player and coach conversations. But between now and then, Jason Shepard has Cougar postgame live, and that is coming your way next. Final score, BYU 86 and New Orleans 61. And you heard it all right here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.